About a thousand families use those vouchers, and many are having trouble finding homes to rent because they lost their income due to that hurricane. And tonight there are signs of Georgetown preparing for possible flooding. Here's a live look now from our newest camera, which is right down there at the Georgetown waterfront. You can see the flood barriers are already locked into place. So that's a good thing. Oh, yeah, a really good thing. We're going to see some of that. And the new camera, too, I can't wait to show you some of the views. It's going to be one of the best camera uh, in the air. It's, it's pretty phenomenal. Just launched. That's the first time we've actually shown okay, that. So it shows no. not just Georgetown. It shows a lot of stuff. So then potentially for an area like that, the problems could be when? Like Monday, Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, and, and maybe beyond okay. that because the flooding when you get the rain and it comes down which our rain in our area when we're talking about it actively raining yeah a late sunday through monday monday night and tuesday but then you have the residual yeah all that water that it takes time to rush on so right. we're going to be seeing that tuesday wednesday probably okay. of next week so that's what we're keeping our eyes on so when we look outside locally we have some clouds in our area we're looking off to the west there it's 77 degrees right now still pretty sticky not much going on just a couple of showers here and there i'm also tracking our winds locally because while not hurricane strength or really even tropical storm strength our breezes are going to kick up a little bit later tonight and then as we get into early next week we'll continue this easterly direction the highest I see are wind gusts around here, unless something changes, maybe 25, 30 on the highest end. So it doesn't look like a big wind maker for us. But we'll see. We'll be tracking some of these showers. I mean, the storm is not far away. Look how relatively close it is. And the remnants of this moisture are going to move off to the east, west rather, and then start to cut up to the north. So we're going to be starting to see this. Right now, we're already having a couple of those northern bands, northern bands in our area. But again, late Sunday night. Monday, but really Monday night into Tuesday. And the spot that I'll watch for the most is into the Panhandle region of West Virginia, Western Maryland, up and down the Shenandoah Valley, and then, of course, areas uh, farther to the west because that moisture will stream that way. So let me show you the future cast on that as we go into the next, say, 24 hours. It's going to 48, really. It's going to rain and just kind of hang out over this region. And all of these areas, South and North Carolina, this is going to be a story that we talk about for a long time, certainly not another day or two. This goes well into next week, well into next week, because we are going to have so much rainfall and all that water takes time. It's got to go. Eventually it goes into the Atlantic Ocean. And that, like I said, does not just happen in a day. So here's what we're looking at over the weekend. Spend a little time on your local seven day. We're going to see off and on rain showers for our day tomorrow, off and on rain showers on your Sunday. Monday and Tuesday are the days that we'll be tracking. So if you work outside, you do anything outside that the weather directly impacts your business or impacts your event that you're doing, plan on it raining on Monday and Tuesday, especially the farther west you are. The farther west you are, the greater that chance is going to be, and I think the more rain you're going to get. All in when it's said and done, because we're drying things out Wednesday through Friday, I could see the district being a one to two inch rainfall, maybe a little bit more than that. I don't see a scenario that gives us considerably more than that. However, off to the west, say Winchester, Martinsburg, uh, uh, Frostburg, over that area in our viewing uh, region, you could easily see a three to five inch rainfall and that could cause some uh, flash flooding into some of the uh, mountainous terrain. So that's what we're keeping our eyes on drying out again next week. But we'll be continuing to track Florence as it makes its way uh, eventually out of our country by late next week. There. OK, Bill, thank you very much. All right, Scott, it's time to start a new chapter. Yeah, for the, the, Caps. the band is back together. It is time to rock the red again. The Washington Capitals back in town and already preparing for the new season. Why Alex Ovechkin believes this team will be good again. Sports is next. Stay with us. I'm Jennifer Wexton. And as a prosecutor, I put criminals in prison during the day and changed diapers at night. Later, when I had a law practice, I volunteered to help moms collect child support. Then, as state senator, I worked across party lines to target sexual offenders and take guns away from domestic abusers. In Congress, I'll stand up to President Trump. I approved this message because, like every working mom, what's ahead is as important as what's in the rearview mirror. Hi, you came at the perfect time because... It's the Xfinity, best deal of the year. Get a great rate with free DVR service for a year. Plus, ask about getting 300 bucks back when you include Xfinity Mobile with your internet. Amazing, right? More tuba! Simple, easy, awesome. Get our best deal of the year with DVR service free for a year and even more speed. Plus, ask how to save on your wireless bill when you include Xfinity.